George Doc Cavalier is one of Scottsdale's most senior homegrown children, whose life covers many eras of Scottsdale history. His parents opened Scottsdale's first blacksmith shop in 1910, which the Cavalier family still operates today. Doc ran the shop for many years and had an impressive list of customers who sought out his creativity with ornamental ironwork. Frank Lloyd Wright and all his boys came in there. Oh, they all had a, just a little separate thing they wanted. Cause they all, you know, they had to build their own houses out there whenever they first came. And he, they, I'd make things to furnish their house. <laughs> When Doc was a boy in the 1920s, Scottsdale was just a tiny desert farming community of a few hundred residents. With no paved streets and no indoor places to hang out, kids had to invent their own forms of entertainment. In the 1920s, what did one do in the evenings for entertainment? Oh, just kids would play uh, greyhound. Uh, a bloodhound. Bloodhound. <laughs> was that like tag or what? what was oh, that? you just could get a paper and tie a little piece inside and take sides. Uh huh. And you go up, put them down, and the rest got to find you. Oh, I guess remember that the irrigation ditch running right by the shop. That's where we all learned to swim. In the 1950s, Doc acquired land near Pinnacle Peak that used to be the Reg Phillips homestead and where Zach Morgan was running a small service station and grocery store. Doc and his brother Yam turned it into a rustic western-themed restaurant they named Riata Pass. That was my western name. That's a, a rope made in Mexico. I wanted to sound Western. In the 1970s, Doc decided to expand. He opened Greasewood Flat adjacent to Riata Pass. It was modeled after an oasis he'd seen in Algeria during World War II. Like an oasis in the desert, he wanted Greasewood Flat to become a place where his friends and customers could eat, drink, and have a good time. And he gave it a uniquely Scottsdale name. Greasewood, that's the bush that goes around here. And this was a flat place. You see how it's flat out here. <laughs> so I decided that sound western. Greasewood flat. Throughout his life, Doc has collected countless pieces of ranching equipment that fascinate diners at his two restaurants. One of his largest collectibles is an old church, now on the grounds of Greasewood Flat and site of many small weddings. One day a guy came by in a flatbed truck. He had that church all in pieces. He, he said he got it out of Mexico. <laughs> and so I, I bought it from him and it laid around here just uh, kept it in the barn yeah. for years before we built the church. George Doc Cavalier has served in many roles over his nine decades in Scottsdale. Blacksmith, mechanic, rancher, restaurateur, and as one of Scottsdale's first town councilmen. During each chapter in his life, he's made history.